Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry, and today I'm here to show you how to access the beta version of Steam games directly through your library panel. So, this changed location slightly with the new big Steam update, but to access beta versions of games, if they are available, all you have to do is right click them, go to manage, well not manage, but properties, and then inside of here, you'll see a tab called betas. And then in here, you have a couple of different boxes. The first one is the pull down menu, which gives you the option, if there is one available, to select a beta version of this game. And you might notice over here in the sidebar, I'm doing this in Deep Rock Galactic, and now it wants to download an alternate version of the game, which it's doing right now. Now, if you don't see a beta version and you know there's supposed to be one inside of this pull down, it might be because there is a code required to test a certain version of the game. This is something that developers do to kind of control who has access to it and also limit the number of people who can dogpile in so they don't crash their servers. So if you have a code, you can put it in right here and click to check the code. And if it's valid, then your version or beta version will appear here in the list. Now, you'll notice that this version of Deep Rock Galactic is downloading over here. If I close this and open up my downloads folder, and this is currently overwriting my existing version of Deep Rock Galactic. Now, depending on the game, this can destroy your save files. So if you've got like user data from the most recent version, and you're like backdating or testing out a beta version, this can sometimes jankle your saves. So just keep that in mind. It literally is overriding my old version of the game. This won't do this to Deep Rock Galactic because this is just tied to progress on my Steam account, but just keep that in mind. So if I wanna revert this, all I have to do is go back to properties, go back to the beta tab, and then click none on the beta version. And now it's going to go back and revert it back to the original version I had of the game. Although it doesn't look like it completely overrode it, it looks like it just downloaded additional files to play the older legacy version and kept the uh, modern up-to-date version alone on my computer. But that's not the case for all of them. I've had whole games like Phantasmophobia that'll completely download a whole nother game, and then if you revert it, it has to download the whole game again. So it just depends on the developer and what their current policy is in regards to handling beta versions through Steam. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Just as a recap, you go right click, go to properties on a game, go to betas, and this pull down should have them. If not, there should be a code that allow you to get it, and then you can download it and play around with it with all of your friends if that's what they want to do. So that'd be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.